I'm Dr. Embry, and we're discussing the great benefits of wine in fighting infections, heart disease, and producing joy by the nitric oxide trigger release. A cardiologist by the name of Capagoda explained a critical feature of red wine that produces a nitric oxide trigger to the endothelium, causing the arteries to dilate for a short period of time. When the nitric acid in the wine hits the tongue, the trigger is activated. Wine relaxes a person within two minutes. No, it's not the alcohol, neither beer nor liquor that produces joy and rejoicing. Beer and liquor deadens the brain nerves. That takes about 20 minutes or more and mostly depresses you. Wine gives you joy. Let's move on to resveratrol. Resveratrol in red wine destroys a wide range of viruses. Any red berry or red grape wine contains resveratrol. It gives remarkable cardiac protection, is a very strong anti-cancer agent, fights heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and has strong anti-aging properties since it lengthens your telomeres. Modern day diseases are mostly caused by foods that are not cleaned properly with soil bacteria, funguses, viruses, yeast, and other pathogens. In wine drinking nations, diseases are far less common than in other nations. Why? Wine kills viruses and pathogens, defends the immune system, kills the disease in the water and foods inside the stomach. If you deny the nation drinking wine, you are denying them the very substance of nutrition and natural medicine that kills viruses and bacteria and accelerates the healing process almost immediately. Our French Connection reports tell us that wine has over a thousand acid complexes, providing critical nutritional elements aiding with food digestion, even more thoroughly than the hydrochloric acids inside the stomach. It destroys every bacterium known to man. The famous French medical doctor, Dr. Sage Renaud, in the French Paradox, 1991, pointed out that the French drank wine, ate large quantities of fat foods, yet they remained thin, had better stamina and heart rates than most other countries in the world, all because they drink red wine. 33 million United States people heard about this in 1991, resulting in a 40% increase in the consumption of wine in the US, which brought about a massive increase in the cardiovascular health in the people who drank wine as opposed to those who did not. Let's get one thing straight. Wine is not hard liquor. Wine is fermented food. Actually, the top food product in the food chain. Allow me to introduce you to biochemist Agnes Faye Morgan. She broke the glass ceiling for women to become researchers in 1838. She headed up the first USDA home economics, fruit and wine growing science in America. She established, amongst many other scientific discoveries in the nutritional chemistry, the high content of B vitamins in wine, the positive effect wine has on the utilization of calories and cholesterol metabolism. This brave and amazing woman put together a large team of researchers at Berkeley University in California. They proved that grape juice increased its natural nutritional value as it fermented into wine, testing both grape juice and wine because the French, Germans and Italians claimed that wine had vitamins not found in grape juice. They established that grape juice contained vitamin A and C, but when it was fermented into wine, it became a wealth of vitamin B complexes and largely increased the A and C levels. Her research placed wine at the top of the American food chain. Unfortunately, 1938 was a year of explosive political wars over the control of American research and medicine. 
prohibition had already thrown out all public support of wine because the alcohol, tobacco, firearms, explosive bureau, can you imagine putting all of that together in one bureau, had ignored the fact that there is a huge difference between hard liquor and wine. Liquor has no food value. Wine has tremendous nutritional and medicinal value. This bureau incorrectly, maybe maliciously, defined wine as alcohol, not distinguishing that alcohol is distilled and wine is not. It is fermented. Agnes was blocked by the American Medical Association because wine had proven to also have medical benefits. So wine was wiped out of the medical industry. Her research should have opened the door for the Alcohol and Tobacco Bureau to control alcohol and the Food and Drug Administration to control wine as fermented nutrition. Instead, from that day forth, wine was as liquor together with distilled alcoholic drinks. This belief has robbed the majority of the church from the blessing of wine. To be continued.